there, everybody. It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Demo. Where are the music? So, guys, Lori Harvey represents to many women success, affluence, independence, and the ability to date who she wants. She has the ability to attract high profile, um, high value men in the entertainment world, Michael B. Jordan, Future. And pretty much just do away with them, right? And we all know what happened with Michael B. Jordan. Um, if you don't believe me, I want to play this video that sums it up here by a TikToker by the name of India Michelle. And then we'll come back. Now, Lori, we was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you if you know that reference? Now, Lori, you can't be a 304 all your life. Now you got Michael in his feelings. You already have Future in his feelings with that track on Maybach with 42 Doug talking about some Steve Harvey on Won't You. Future, you was simping trying to be petty. <laughs> like, girl, you have a dude that's willing to put a ring on it and you playing. Like, a lot of these guys ain't talking about nothing. You should know. You ain't gonna be on forever, girl. But then again, was it even real from the jump? Because you know they said it was a PR stunt just because they say he liked to talk to white girls. So he got with Harvey to, you know, blacken it up. But if it was real, why would you waste your time with a man that he's taking you on trips, buying you expensive gifts and whatnot, courting you the right way just to say no to marriage? Damn, you dumb. Now, guys. This is important because <clears throat> Michael B. Jordan was, for many ladies, the safe pick. Successful actor, young. Um, many women found Brother Michael B. Jordan to be very uh, uh, attractive. And and then he's a different guy in comparison to what we see happening with Future. Future, there is no real future with Future. <laughs> future has a lot of kids he keeps having them not as much as nick cannon but he keeps getting chicks pregnant so michael b jordan is more responsible okay he's more responsible he's more responsible he's more um dependable something somebody at the family wanted even steve harvey liked him then last year came that breakup or earlier sometime i forgot it was this year i believe right that breakup came and when that breakup came a lot of women were not necessarily calling her dumb like we've just heard this lady refer to her as what we heard was something very different we heard a lot of empowerment like wow she just dumped michael b jordan that is great like she has the option to do that but before then they were all mad at future for possibly ruining the relationship now guys i have some news and this comes from media takeout now we know that Future just sold a lot of his catalog. He just bought a new house um, on Allison Island, $16 million house. And what they said was um, recently Future and Lori Harvey were out on a date recently, okay? Out recently. They could be back together according to a reliable source or at least dating being very friendly okay and now i don't know if this is the case but here's the situation it would not shock me why wouldn't it not shock me guys because once a pookie lover always a pookie lover right a lot of, a lot, a lot, a lot of men don't understand that and what a lot of men do is we set ourselves up for issues that really we shouldn't set ourselves up with because we some of us we think that we're so much better than the guys out there that they have dealt with and that could be true you know you you know a lot of times women don't feel about you like you feel about them and what i mean is you feel about yourself that you're a great catch and you might but now to you you might be a great catch and boring you might be a great catch and um not charismatic which could really turn into no catch at all <laughs> right no catch at all and what happens when you're no catch at all guys when you're no catch at all despite being the right guy for the wrong person you will you will typically find out those women are going back all right to the guys that they used to deal with 
They're going back towards that dysfunction. You thought you were the functional guy. Nope. She's going back towards that dysfunction because that's where she's comfortable. And many men try to be a woman's peace, and you can never be a woman's peace for a person that's not peaceful. But guys don't get that. Guys get everything but that. And then what do you find yourself? You find yourself in a multitude of issues. You find yourself making an investment someplace that, you know, doesn't make sense. Like, shout out to Brother Orlando Minor. Um, he was talking about this particular Bank of America loan that they were giving people in underprivileged communities to buy houses in underprivileged areas. And he was saying, what's the use of buying properties in underprivileged areas? Because there are no jobs there, okay? There's no businesses there, and there's a lot of crime. It's not, it's the money's not worth your investment, okay? You're wasting money at that point. And a lot of you guys are doing the same things with the wrong women. And that's what we need to do. A lot of times we're dealing with the women that just, we have no real ability to help them, and they shouldn't really be there because. You know, no matter how much you love them or how nice they are, they have no opportunity to do better because of their misgivings. So the best thing to do is look at their track record. Who have you been dating? Oh, you've been dating that pookie over there. Oh, you've been dating that pookie over there. Okay, that relationship lasted five months. Wow, that tells me that this woman is not into long-term committed relationships with men that make the right decisions. She just can't value you. All right. She can't value you. You're upset that she can't value you and she's not a valuable person. She's no good. It's completely okay that she's no good and she's wasting your time. And if that's the case, get her ass out of there. You don't need to be upset. You don't need to be mad. You don't need to be pissed off. Just send her on her way where she needs to be. She needs to be gone. And you need to be going to some place that operates a little better. Women that operate better, a better woman, because quite honestly, you're a better man. So why stick and deal with the foolishness when you know you don't need to? Well, guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell. I'm out. Yeah, yeah.